Hi, okay, so this is what you're going to see when you first um, get started on Weebly. This is after you've set up your account and you've chosen either a subdomain or uh, a domain you already own. This is what you'll see. So when you click in here, you can start creating the page that you want for your small business. Over here are the elements, the basic ones, title, text, image, gallery. All of these can be dragged over to your web page. Below that are things like structure, dividers, spacers, and then there are things like media. You can add video or audio, you can add documents, you can connect to YouTube. Below that, if you're going to have a store, there are e-commerce things like products and categories. And then below that are even more. There are search boxes, social icons, so you can connect to your Facebook page or your Twitter account. You can create RSV RSVP forms, surveys. Um, you can connect Google AdSense to this. Weebly has a lot going on. Um, there are also third-party apps that you can add. Um, you can click on the App Center uh, to see those. But we're going to get just started with the basics. So if you wanted to, you could click on a title and you could drag it over here and when you just let go on your computer uh, on your mouse or um, touch screen there it'll just put it there so then you can just click in it and you can start typing um, this I'm actually just gonna get rid of right here maybe oh, oh I see okay so this uh, is where you can put in like uh, welcome to the awesomest small business around. All right, so then this is your title here. The um, elements that you've added, if you click on it, you can click in this little corner and delete it. So if you want to get delete something, you can do that. Um, the picture in the background can be changed if you click on it. There we go. Edit background. So you can replace it. Here, we'll replace it with something. You click on the replace button. I haven't decided what kind of business my awesome small business is, but let's see what we can put in there. I know I've got some different things. Um, let's see. Um, there's going to be some good stuff. Here, we'll put me crocheting. That'll be a good one. <laughs> Maybe it's a crochet business. All right, so there you go. So it changed that picture. You can... Um, Zoom, blur, darken, filter. You can change the image if you don't like how it looks. I'm just going to hit the save button. And there you go. It's in the background. So when you filled out the uh, form when you first signed up for Weebly, it asked you what your business name was. So that's up here. You can also upload a logo. If you hit this logo box, you could choose a logo to upload there if you don't want it to just be text. Um, you can change these. These are actually your pages. So if you click on pages, you'll see you have home, services, about, news, contact. Right now, that's what you have. You want to get rid of one. Say you don't want the news one. You can just hit delete and it will delete that page. If you want to edit a page, just click on the page. It'll bring you to that page. You can drag elements. You can change um, the pictures. It's going to uh, give you the option. You can have no header. You could have a header. You could have a small header. See, now we have a header on this page. Um, you can also, if you are creating a new page and you don't want it to be public yet after your website is um, published, you can go in here and you can you know, select that you don't want it to be public anymore. So let's see, let's go back to the home page and click on the build up there at the top and that'll give you back your elements. So after you have sort of figured out which pages you want and you know, you've changed your header here, you've added here, we'll do uh, the tagline will be awesome crochet. Phew. 
Woo! Okay, so then um, you can click on this button if you want your button there, and you can change the text. You can make it um, uh, something different. I'll put crochet patterns. You can change the button style. You can change the position, and then you can have it link somewhere. If you want to link to a different um, page, if you want it to link somewhere outside of your website, um, you can have it link to phone number or an email. So you could say just email me right there and have it link to your email, so that'll pop right up. Um, then when you're done with that, see that's all changed. Down here, you know, they have a... Um, they have some photos here. They've got text. They've got um, a title. You know, so you can change all of this stuff. You can delete it completely by just clicking delete, or you can um, just edit it. Uh, the photos, everything is drag and drop. So let's say you have, let's say you want this over here. Oops. And you don't want it. Um two lines, how do we, what have they done here? There we go. Um, oops. Okay, so you've got a title here and you've got a couple of pictures and now you'd really like to have text in one of these places. So if you drag a text box over, you can see it'll highlight anywhere you can put it. So we'll put it right there. It will load it up, and now you can text. You can put text there. So we'll just type doo -doo 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 -doo. So we've got some text. I'm a lovely typer, aren't I? Okay. So we've got some text there. Now you've decided that you like the text, but this photo needs to go somewhere else. You can drag it. So now the photo will be below the text. You can change... Um, spacing too. Down here under structure you could put a spacer in right here so that next time you put in a title it was lower down than um, it would be lower see it's going to put a space between the pictures and the title so that is a great way to kind of space everything out on the page. You can also put in a divider which will look like that. So then you could have a divider, there's a spacer, then a divider, then the title. If you want to have more than one column, it really is just dragging it and dropping it. See how it's got the little blue line all the way over there to the right? That means it's going to put it next to the element that I already have there. So now we've got two columns. Um, you know, so all of this stuff is just drag and drop. Just make it look like how you want to look. Uh, if you can't figure out how to change something, really click on it. Things are going to come up. See, I clicked on the picture, and now I can edit image. I can replace the image. It's going to give me a chance to make the image a link. You can give it a caption. You know, pretty much any of that type of stuff you want to change, you can. The... Um, information for your page you can click on settings and you can click um, through here it's gonna right now that my site address is awesome small business weebly com because I chose a subdomain if you want to get rid of the dot weebly part and you want to just awesome small business com if you sign up for a monthly account with weebly they're going to give you a free domain so then you can choose whatever do domain is available to you so this is where you, you could change your site title and the category. You can upload a favicon here once you've upgraded. Um, you can create password protected parts of your site. You can connect to things like Facebook. You can connect um, to quite a few of the different uh, social media. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this lets you change formats of things. You know, you can do all of that. There's an SEO page. Here you can enter things like site description, meta keywords, footer code, header code, which is great for Google Analytics or Google Webmaster Tools. Um, you can hide this from search engines. If you want to create it and not have search engines search it, you can do that. So there's lots of things in here you can do.
You can create other people as editors. If you are in a small business with a partner and you both want to be in here as an as an editor, you can do that. You just add an editor, you invite them with an email address, and there you go. Um, you can create a blog on here as well. Um, you will be able to have a page that's dedicated as a blog page. So if we go to pages and we choose this plus button right here, that's going to have you add a page. So you can choose a standard, a blog, an external page, which means you have a page on your website that when you click on that page, it actually brings you to a separate website. Um, so if you have more than one business and you want to connect them or something, you can do that there. Um, there's also non-clickable menus. You probably won't really use that. All right, so if you created a blog and you titled it blog, maybe you title it awesome blog, um, and then you have a blog page. Your blog page um, then has some blog settings, if you see down here. So you can see the number of posts um, that will be showing up on your blog page. Um, it's going to have, sh you can have share buttons, you can have a sidebar, there are header and footer codes you can put in, you can turn on and off um, comments, all sorts of little things that you can change here. Uh, Alright, so then if we go back to build, um, if you want to create a new blog post, you literally just click new post, and then over here, click to edit your post options. Here we are. So you can put in the title, awesome blog post. You can put, a, sorry, a text block here. You can put an image block here. So now you can, you know, type all about, this is my awesome blog post about crocheting. You can put up an image and then just hit publish when you're ready to go. So you just hit post. So none of this is live right yet because I haven't hit publish in this upper corner. We'll go over that in a few minutes. Okay, so if you have a sidebar on your blog and you want to add some um, apps, you can do that. There are things like you can do archives and category. You can create a LinkedIn button, a Flickr badge. That's all on just the blog page that those are available. Okay, so if we go back to home, and let's see about connecting your social media. So, all right, if you, spacer, social icons. If you go down here on this button and you click on social icons, you can drag it places. Let's see where we can put it on here. I don't really want to put it there. So let's, let's put it right here. Oh, well, I didn't mean quite like that. There. Okay. So now if you click on this with the social icons, it's going to bring up a little box and it's going to allow you to manage icons. This is where you can connect to everything. You can click on Facebook and you put in your Facebook website, the business page website. So it's going to be something like facebook.com slash awesome small business. And you can choose whether or not to show it. So you can go through and do that with all of them. So Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and then there's ones down here that you can add. So these ones are right now are turned off, but you just click on it and you can put in your um, website to, well, the, you can put in your social media website to connect them and then click show. So you'd go Pinterest, I'd put in pinterest.com slash awesome small business and click show and then it will show up right there. Okay, so and then you can also reorder them. So if you want to move it like that, you can do that. And then you click done and it moves. You, you can also, I think, make them centered. You know, you can space them out more if you want them. So those are all uh, the oops, social media buttons. All right, so this gives you a really good idea of sort of how you get started and what you can change. 
Um, the last thing to do when you are ready is to hit the publish button, which will make it live. Um, if you've chosen just a subdomain of Weebly, it'll make it live right away. If you have chosen to connect it to a domain you already own, it's going to walk you through the steps to do that. Um, and if you choose to purchase a domain through Weebly, you will have to sign up for one of their monthly accounts, and then they'll give you the option to choose a free domain. Remember, this is going to have to be a domain that's available. So that means if somebody already is an awesome small business, I'm not going to be able to get awesomesmallbusiness.com. All right, so that's it. That's what you have to do. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the blog post, and I'm happy to help you.